Hi, Jeremy from Trilo. I'm here today to talk you through the T1. The T1 is our one cubic metre capacity, self-contained, self-powered unit. It's been designed to fit into a multitude of utility vehicles, into the back of the 4x4 pickup, onto the forks of a loader, onto a trailer, and in the very near future it'll have the option of its own trail chassis. I'm going to talk you through the machine and I'm going to start off with the engine and fan assembly. Some of you will already be familiar with this as it's the same unit as we use on the SU40B which has been in production well over 20 years so it's very proven. The engine is the Honda GX340 11 horsepower, commercially proven and very reliable with low maintenance schedules. From the engine we have a pulley and belt drive onto our fan assembly. We use that so it protects the engine against any shock loadings that the fan may occur. Within our fan housing we have our hardened alloy steel fan and there's a replaceable liner on the inside of the fan housing itself which creates good durability and hard wearing. All the fan and engine are doing are creating an airflow. It's what we put into that airflow, is what we're actually collecting. So off the front of the fan assembly, we have our four meter microorganism and UV proof hose. It's 200 mil diameter. It's supported from this hose arm to take the weight off of the hose to make it easier for the operator. And this hose arm assembly is stored away in a transport position when you're transporting down the road. On the end of our four meter hose, we have a meter of steel. This is where our handle assembly is bolted to. And on the bottom of the tube, we have a balloon tire. It makes it nice and easy for the operator. Because of the flexible hose, we don't get any vibration coming from the unit either, which makes it nice for the operator on his hands. Because of the airflow that the fan is creating, we create a suction at the hose end, which picks up the material. So the material is transported along our hose and directly into the centre of our fan. Everything goes through the fan, so if you're collecting leaves or grass clippings, it starts the mulching process. If there's any litter, cans, bottles or anything like that in there, they get smashed up as well. So the material comes through the fan and comes in one cubic metre capacity hopper. The material is pushed into the hopper, it circulates round and then in the top we have a mesh. This allows the air out and keeps the material in the hopper. The air is then diverted down the back of the hopper and onto the ground. Because we're filling the hopper under air pressure we get compacted material into the hopper so we get a full hopper of material with no air into it. So we don't get a hopper half full of air, half full of material. Because it's a self-contained unit, we don't need any power from the vehicle that it's mounted on. So we don't need a tipping buck or anything like that. The container is made up of a clamshell. So it opens at this point here, and we have two latches either side, and gas struts for opening. So as we open up the back, the material just falls out. We have a nice steep angle on here, so the material just slides out. Also makes it nice and easy for cleaning and washing down. From a maintenance point of view it's very minimal. It's obviously routine maintenance on the engine and the fan assembly. In the fan assembly we've got a quick release on the hose with a safety switch so when you take it off you can't start the engine. And then in the bottom of the fan assembly we have a bung so that when you're washing out all the material comes out the bottom. It's a quick overview of the T1, I hope it's been helpful to you and stay safe.